We're here with head coach John Gondek. Coach, uh, just got into town yesterday. What has the travel been like? Travel's been great so far. Uh, had a nice first night. Left State College on Tuesday night. Had a great team dinner down in Harrisburg. Uh, got some good rest early morning on Wednesday to get everybody down here. But uh, a beautiful day when we arrived. 70 degrees and sunny. This is our spring break week at State College. So at least we're down here in some nice weather outside and uh, ready to have some hot action inside here at the track of the Tyson Track Center in Fayetteville. Uh, the team has been focused, but they've also been relaxed. Do you like that? Do you? I, I, I like that a lot. Uh, you know, we, we, a lot of these athletes that have been here, uh, a lot of these athletes we have on the trip have been to the national championships in the past. Uh, and, and maybe the first time that they came to this competition, they had a lot of tension in their shoulders and, uh, you know, some didn't necessarily have the expectations that, that we have this year or to, in, in competing this year. And this year they're here confident. They know what they want to do. They're relaxed. They're ready to go. So I, I like the, the, where everybody is right now. What do you say to the team tomorrow? Uh, action begins. Uh, you know, as with the... As, as, with every indoor national championships, this is one of the most competitive meets in the country. When you put the top 16 individuals in each event, uh, in a ring or on a runway or on the track, it's it's you know it's who's going to step up and compete the best. And, and so there's only tenths of a second that separate everybody on the track. There's only inches that separates everybody in the field. And so uh, you know what you tell them is, hey you know go and compete and, and one of the things I think we have with our group here is they're a bunch of great competitors and if they go out and compete this weekend they're going to be very happy with their performances. It's your ninth year with the Nittany Lions but first overall as the head coach how's your uh, first season gone? I think it's been a, a great first season we had some uh, wonderful things happen in cross country and turned around and you know coming in uh, on the track we made a great run for it at the Big Ten championships with you know two teams that you know, a third place and a fourth place and you know, come into this, especially on the men's side, uh, ranked in the top 10. So uh, looking forward to having a fun weekend this weekend here in Facebook. Last thing, a uh, couple marks early in the season for the Nittany Lions at the Penn State National, DMR, yeah. uh, Darrell's shot put. Yeah. Uh, last week, Brian Leap got in in the triple jump and Kia got in in the 400. Does it, how does it change getting the marks early and late in the season? I don't think it changes a whole lot. It's, it's you know, if you get your mark early in the season, it allows you to kind of relax and just uh, focus on competing the rest of the way. Uh, you can kind of see as the season progresses, a little bit of tension get on the kids who want to be here and they haven't received the mark yet. But once they get that and, and get that mark done, then it, it transitions from getting the mark to get here to actually coming here and competing. And as I said before, we have some outstanding competitors in this group, kids that have been at this meet and, and ranked down far on the list to come out all Americans because they know how to compete. Whereas, uh, you know, a lot of people come here, they're, they're very good at time trialing and getting to the meet here based on performances. The thing I like about our group here is they're great competitors, so they're here and, and ready to compete. Awesome. Anything else you'd like to add? Just uh, we're excited for this weekend and uh, follow along on uh, Go PSU Sports. I think you'll uh, uh, be happy with the results we have.